giving these objects new life, but I'm also uh, giving the viewers a new perception. While the coronavirus outbreak forced most museums to close their doors to the public, some are desperately trying to keep access to the arts and culture alive. But what you're looking at is the John in the center and the Robert Ballantyne houses as they looked in about 1890. As this pandemic, of course, um, had us uh, temporarily close the museum um, on March 16th, and we realized that um, we needed to uh, switch and pivot to digital content. So you be processing water bottles moving forward? Well, as I said, I have a shipping container with millions of bottles already. CEO and director of the Newark Museum of Art, Linda Harrison, is now offering free virtual tours for families, an interactive way to experience art and science without ever having to leave your couch. We really are targeting um, from your um, uh, K through 12 with some of our kids programs um, to our middle school uh, to our teen pop up uh, types of uh, uh, events all the way to our adults. The most popular program so far is Ask the Astronomer. Let's take a look at some of these uh, galaxies. The kids really get engaged and they can ask um, about a specific question. Deputy Director of Learning and Engagement Sylvia Filippini Fantoni says they've reached thousands of viewers since they switched to online programming. <laughs> We have had um, about 18 live sessions so far, and we've had 1,000 um, participants through our Zoom sort of live sessions. Generally, by the end of the day in which the program was broadcast, um, we, we, see eight, we see basically eight times more viewers on uh, Facebook Live. Fantoni says the virtual story time is another online favorite. He may even wind up washing the floors as well. We have a mix of pre-recorded programs and then live programs. So the two main live programs that are targeted to kids are um, Storytime Live. Our educator read a story and then they facilitate an art making activities with the kids. How's everybody doing? Nick, how's it going? Good. Good. In the future, um, are going to be focusing on different animals and then we will connect with the um, outrageous pets and they will show that animal live for the kids to see. Beautiful animals, but sadly snake populations are decreasing all around the world. You also mentioned a new program for adults to help them unwind called Happy Hour. Tell me more about that. We want to talk about a work of art, but we want to use this work of art as an inspiration for making a cocktail and for, um, you know, um, questions and interaction with the audience so that people can learn something, but they can do it in a sort of a more fun and playful way. So grab your cocktail and log on to newarkmuseumofart.org. For NJTV News, I'm Raven Santana.